Hey, welcome on in. Thanks for clicking on the link. Hey, my name's Bill, and this is Working the Grill with Know It All Bill. Today's special treat is going to be London broil and as you can see here I've got a beautifully finished London broil nice and juicy tender beautifully cooked and seasoned this is going to be a great meal uh, but you probably want to know how to make this thing so we're going to go you're going to hear the magical harp we're going to go back in time I'm going to take you through how we seasoned this how we cooked it and came up with this great this great meal uh, enjoy enjoy let me do a graham carrot galloping gourmet Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? <laughs> All right. Well, you already saw what a nice looking piece of meat that was that I was cutting up. Um, well, now I'm going to show you how I got it that way with this London broil. So, um, as you can see on the countertop, we've got a lot of ingredients here. Uh, we got some lean parent soy sauce, uh, lean parent's uh, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce. Got some fresh, gin uh, some powdered ginger, fresh garlic. We have some parsley and then we have some sea salt. But first thing we need to do is get this meat ready uh, for uh, the seasoning. Lemon broil tends to be a, a, a denser meat and uh, you need to break it up a little bit. So what I've got here is a, a meat tenderizer. It's a commercial grade. You can see it's got these nice little needles. So what we're going to do, we're just going to work our way into the meat. It's a lot easier than using a fork, let me tell you that. And now we'll do the other side. Okay, next is our light seasonings. We're going to go ahead and do a little bit of ginger first. I'm going to put all the dry stuff on first before we do the liquids. And we've got a little garlic and some parsley. The salt's going to be the last thing that we put on. So flip this bad boy over. We are gonna put in our soy sauce. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put enough soy sauce just to cover the bottom of the pan lightly. And then finish up with some more lean parents. And then back this goes in. Some soy sauce. And then some lean parents. And last, some sea salt. Salt is great for the meat. It brings out the flavor. And as the meat cut this big, this thick of a meat, don't worry about putting too much on. All right. And now we're ready. Okay, camera back up on me. All right, we got the meat ready. It is now four o'clock. We're gonna let this marinate in the refrigerator for two hours. Get the juices flowing, and then in the end, uh, you'll see the finished product. Uh, but um, we'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, here you go. Hey, everybody, we're back. We've got our meat been sitting in the refrigerator now for two hours. It's got a great color on it. And you got some seepage. It's ready to go. The grill is nice and hot. Um, it's probably 550 degrees inside here, because I want to sear the outside of this. It's really important to get a good sear on both sides of the meat and then um, put it up on top, turn the heat down, let it slow cook. So we'll sear it crispy on the outside, tender on the top. So let's get this thing in here. Coming real close, you can see how all the, yeah, the good stuff's been absorbed. Very nice. This will take about uh, six minutes on each side and then we'll spend about 15 minutes um, on the top of the lower heat. Okay, our time is up. Now what we're going to do before we flip the steak, one thing I did add, I added some coarse black pepper on top here just before. Now I'm going to cut this on here. I like to use all my juices. And Stick a friend there. Up and over. All right. 
Nice sear, it's a nice black line. More on this side, and then up on top we'll go. So we'll catch you back in six minutes. Our time has passed, it's time to put this up on top. So really simple, I'm gonna flip this bad boy back over again. Juicy side. Now what I'm gonna do next is turn the grill down. I'm gonna keep this on here 15, 15, maybe 18 minutes. And I'm gonna cook this to 120 degrees, no more, because you gotta allow for staging. This meat, you want it, you want it pink, like a filet mignon, you want it pink so it's juicy and tender. You overcook this thing, you get a piece of shoe leather. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll put a thermometer in here and we'll check this a couple times uh, as we move along. And pretty soon uh, we'll be eating some really nice London broil. All right, finally we are done. Uh, take a look from the meat there, Michael. Nice, nice, shiny, great, moist looking meat. Um, I ended up not having to cook this for 15 minutes. I then again, I used the thermometer. Um, this is what I use. It's an Oneida. You can get it at Bed Bath and Beyond. Um, notice it's got the steel line, uh, so you can use it inside your barbecue. This got to about 121 to 122. It only took about seven or eight minutes. So with about five and a half on each side, and then about seven minutes, about 17 minutes. But mainly because I had the thing so hot, it was really, really hot. So let's get. We've been letting this stage for a couple minutes now. So let's get this bad boy ready. You can see a lot of juice coming off there, and this is big. And Okay, now to, to cut a linen broil, you'll see it done a couple different ways. Uh, move these over here. Um, you can go sideways at a, real, at a nice angle. They do that in the restaurants. No real need to. I mean, just keep it nice and simple for yourself. Just go straight down. But just maybe make it a about this wide. You can see. Look at the look at that. Look at the color on that meat. But don't let them stack up. Oh, look at the juicy. Look at that. Get on that, Michael. And if you want your meat to stay medium, medium rare, you want to definitely don't let them stack up. Separate them out. Because if you pile them up, they'll cook on each other. So, this is how you make a great London broil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See you again next time on Lunch Work on the Grill. Adios.